see you. It's great to be here. Uh, I have a boyfriend, you guys, which is fine. Uh, it's fine, it didn't fix it. Everyone acted like that was gonna fix it. It didn't fix it, it's fine. There are some things that are better about being in a relationship. Seesaws, way better with another person. That is like night and day. And that's it. No, my boyfriend's great. He's a really good guy. He's friends with all his ex-girlfriends, which I actually think is a great sign. You know, it means he didn't serial kill them. They're all still around, walking, talking, vouching for him. That's important to me. The only thing I don't like about it is I just feel like that sets a very unfair precedent for me, you know, for how mature he expects me to be when we break up. You know, and that's not gonna happen, right? I'm gonna burn his house down. I don't care if he breaks up with me or I break up with him. I'm burning it to the ground. I love him, he's so nice. I'm burning it to the ground. We just moved in together. I don't have a backup plan on where to live. But I do have renter's insurance. I don't really understand people who stay friends with their exes after a breakup. It's like, why would you want to stay friends with the one person who knows what's really wrong with you? Put that person on a rocket ship to the moon. I don't need to see them ever again. I definitely don't need them hanging around in my life, ready to warn all the new people I'm trying to trick. That's not a liability I can afford. Because that's someone who's looked inside of me, really seen me, and then said, no. We don't need to hang out anymore, you know? I met my boyfriend online. It's where I do all my shopping. I have Amazon Prime too, so it was like two days, so fast. I'm just kidding, it took forever and I met a million monsters. Uh, it was the worst. It was like trying to beat Super Mario. It was just monster after monster. Turtle, mushroom, lizard, just over and over and over <laughs> till I eventually got to the princess. I call him princess, he's fine with it. The weirdest reaction I get though is like when I introduce my boyfriend to one of my friends and they're like, you met him online? He's so normal. You won the lottery. And I'm like, that's the bar now? That's what winning the lottery is, a normal man. That's so depressing. Uh, but also, how dare you? Won the lottery. Do you have any idea how long I did online dating before I met my boyfriend? That analogy does not properly honor my resilience. <laughs> winning the lottery takes one day and no skill. Do you have any idea how many men's opinions I had to listen to? Before I met my boyfriend, it was relentless. I was like, what is this? Movies, books, music, politics? Why am I opting into more of this? When you are a straight woman online dating, you just have to read a bunch of personal essays by unaccomplished men. It's the worst book club you've ever been a part of. So no, I didn't win the lottery. That does not describe my experience. What happened was I ate at a restaurant that gave me food poisoning every day for years. And then one day I tried the pasta and it was fine. <laughs> and I was like, I guess this is what I'm ordering now. I may get bored of it eventually, but I cannot risk it on another menu item at this point in my life. I don't want you guys leaving here thinking I hate men. I want you leaving here knowing it. That's been my time. I'm Emily Heller. Thank you guys so much.